the husband and wife police officers who stopped an armed robbery during their off-duty date at a Louisville restaurant are being rewarded with this year's a full year's supply, excuse me, of free chicken fingers. Do we care about this gesture by raising canes? I love it. I love it. And I love this this husband and wife duo. First of all, they date night is at raising canes. Can't beat that. Yeah, that's And a then they night. save they're the gonna, whole place. They're going to remember that date forever, just sitting there minding their own business. But cool, they get free chicken tenders. I yeah. wouldn't mind getting some of those from Cane Sue. Yeah, I would just take the sauce. Or the recipe for the sauce. <laughs> all right, Nathan, what's next? This week, Governor Bashir helped fill Jim Beam's 16 millionth barrel as he celebrated the fact that Kentucky led the nation in whiskey exports in 2019. Whiskey includes both rye and bourbon, which are staples here in the bluegrass. Guys, do we care about this? Yeah, it's great. Uh, not surprising that we export the most whiskey. Can we import liquor here now and wine? Working on it. All right. You know, I've seen that. I might go home yeah. and have me a bourbon. It's, what is today, Thursday? You can have bourbon on Thursday, right? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I think so. Thursdays are good. All right, Nathan, what's next? State and federal officials are teaming up to take on an invasive species of fish. Researchers are testing a new method to wrangle Asian carp out of various Kentucky lakes that have been used on similar species in China. Mary Jo and Drew, do we care? Is the, is the tactic uh, Matt Jones and Chris Tomlin <laughs> trying to wrangle them all in? They gave it their best try. <laughs> I can't even get over this Asian carp problem we have. It sounds made up, but I've seen videos that exist. It is wild. Get them out of the lakes. I'm trying to swim. It's crazy. All right, Nathan, what's next? And finally, there's a Kentucky connection in the upcoming Matrix 4 movie. A UK graduate is one of the stuntmen who's been standing in for Keanu Reeves during filming in San Francisco. Do we care about this true Hollywood story? Well, he must be a UK graduate from like the 70s because Keanu Reeves is getting up there. Shots fired at Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I'll be, I didn't know there was a Matrix 4. I like the Matrix. Now I'm excited, and I'll be looking out for a U.K. fan. Yeah. That is apparently 70 years old, according <laughs> to you. Well, listen, you got John Wick, and you got the Matrix. You keep, you keep it rolling. All right, big thanks to Nathan for pitching in tonight. Tell us more about what's going on over at the Kentucky Beef Council. Well, Mary Jo, the Kentucky Beef Council represents all 38,000 of Kentucky's hardworking beef producers across the state. And one of the things we're most proud of is the innovative productive and efficient manner in which Kentucky's beef producers raise some of the best tasting protein on the market. It's really something that all Kentuckians can be proud of. So we appreciate the opportunity to promote their product and to all those out there purchasing beef tonight for the dinner table, thank you. 38,000, that always blows my mind. That's awesome. Thank you, Nathan. Uh, more Hey Kentucky right after this. <laughs>